okay so let's look at the next uh, uh, characteristic of logic family that is called fan in uh, fan in is simple compared to fan out because it is just the input number of maximum input that uh, gate can have <clears throat> so fan in of a logic gate is the number of inputs connected to a gate that is same gate without impairing its normal operation so how many inputs at max you can connect at the input of a gate so that it perform no, its normal operation that's how you can understand so here you can see i have taken an example of and gate so if you are applying two inputs and it is giving output uh, according to its uh, function like and gate is uh, and between the inputs right uh, that what it will do at the output so if it is successfully able to produce the output which is required uh, with the two inputs then the fan in is 2 let's say you have taken three inputs now a b c to this and gate and it is successfully producing the required output a dot b dot c and it is fine fan in is 3 right but if you are trying to increase the output uh, uh, increase the input a b c d now you have four input it is not producing any output it will produce some incorrect output okay then you have to understand that uh, its fan in is not four okay so you have it it should be less than four then you will go here and you will see if you will uh, apply three inputs and you, if it is producing successfully output then you call it as fan in is three maximum how much how many inputs you can apply at the input of a gate so that it's operation will not be impaired okay uh, it should perform its operation that many maximum inputs you can have can you have less than that yeah you can have less than that you can connect a and b to something and c to uh, ground or zero or something okay but the maximum it can have is three input okay similarly uh, you can also have something like um, uh, if you have to if you have an end gate and uh, uh, no there is nothing else so you this is uh, example i'm showing it with uh, and gate you can also imagine it with or gate nand gate nor gate means how many maximum number of inputs you can apply so that the output will be uh, produced a required output will be produced okay that's what you can think there is no such formula or something to calculate the fan in you just uh, look at the gate and how many input it can handle that's what uh, it's fan in straight away you can say what is the benefit of it uh, the benefit is uh, you can see the uh, you can uh, decrease the complexity means like uh, here you can see three input and gate you can make via two and gates two, two input two and gates a b and it then the output is ended with c here so it is resulting a b c so instead of two two and gates you can use a single and gate with three input and that will reduce in some way your uh, uh, complexity means like depth of the circuit will be reduced uh, also when you have high fan in the it will be uh, you will be having slower circuit it will it performance will slow down okay so what will be required high fan in or high um, uh, low fan in so fan in it depends upon the requirement if you want a, a less depth in your circuit then you can have high fan in but if you want faster circuit then it's better uh, you have low fan in okay so it depends upon the requirement but there is nothing much of uh, it in this characteristic uh, like we had in fan out okay the, uh, the depth uh, in a fan out we had like calculation i out by i in types uh, things are not there here just a normal input how much input a gate can handle okay so that's it uh, let's move on to the next one which is power dissipation okay now <clears throat> let's look at another characteristics of logic family um, it's power dissipation so power dissipation is the amount of power dissipated by a logic gate for its normal operation okay so you you when you will design the circuit uh, uh, they will be connected to supply voltages and supply current will be flowing through this that uh, for its normal operation so how much power it will spend on that for its normal operation that is what power dissipation is called right so you will have something called icc average 
equal to ICH plus ICCL divided by 2. Okay, the average of two currents is will give you ICC average. What is ICCH? It's the supply current. C, CC means supply current, you can think of when the output is high and ICCL is supply current when the output is low. You take the average of it, you'll get ICC. That is supply current, you can say average supply current. Once you will have average supply current, you can multiply it with VCC, which is your supply voltage. You will get PD. PD is what? Power dissipated by the gate. Okay. So the, um, usually it's in milliwatts. So that is what, uh, how you can calculate the power dissipated by a particular gate for its normal operation. Sometimes I average will be given to you directly. <clears throat> Sometimes um, high and low currents will be given to you supply currents. What will be the supply currents flown in the circuit when the output is high? What will be the supply current flown in the circuit when the output is low? You calculate its average, you will get the supply current, average supply current that is flown during its normal operation and you multiply it with supply voltage, you will get the power dissipated uh, by a particular gate. Okay. So this is what uh, power dissipation is and uh, you can straight away calculate it. Uh, the uh, We'll do the questions as well, but later on, first I'll complete all the characteristics, then we'll do it. Uh, so this is what it is. Uh, next, we'll move on to uh, power uh, propagation delay. Uh, so power dissipation is done, power propagation delay uh, is remaining, which is similar to what we have seen propagation delay of gates and all, but still I'll uh, do it again. Okay. Okay. Now let's look at another characteristic of logic family that is called propagation delay. So power dissipation we have seen before. So power dissipation is uh, the uh, the lesser it is better means it is consuming less power. Uh, the better it is the gate is uh, consuming less power. Similarly, if you the the propagation delay of a gate is less, it is good. Okay, means it is uh, taking less time to create the output. Okay, the time taken by a gate on average to produce output. That is what propagation delay of a it is so on average i have written here so what does it mean here you can see so tpd is your average propagation delay it's an average of two times time propagation delay or you can call from high to low and propagation delay from low to high what does this mean tphl means delay when output goes from one to zero high to low is written but what high to low output high to low so the time it takes, uh, the output takes going from one to zero. That is what TPHL is delay or propagation delay when output goes from high to low. Similarly, you have TPLH propagation delay when output goes from low to high means zero to one. Similarly, right? So the average of these two will give you propagation delay, average propagation delay of the gate. That much time it will take to generate output. Okay. That's uh, about a gate. So logic family means like uh, uh, you'll be making those gate with uh, diodes, transistors and resistors. That's why. Okay. So here you can see how you're going to calculate these values, TPHL and TPLH. Once you will have these values, you can calculate the average of it. You will get the TPD. But how are you going to calculate this TPHL and TPLH? You can see here, this is the input curve, black one. This is the output curve. Okay. Just random I have taken. Now I have marked the levels here, 0%, 50%, 100%. 100% 100% of the output, 50% of the output, 0% of the output. Okay. 50% is in the center line. You can see center is the top line. This is the bottom line. Similarly, three lines I've made for the output as well. Here you can see how you want to measure this value. You can see, see the 50% point of input, start the timer and stop when you reach the 50% of output after transition that will give you TPHL. HL means high to low output, not input output output goes from high to low that is TPHL. So that is the standard way 
of doing it uh, measuring that time 50% to 50% okay that's how uh, that's what the, the difference in time is tphl similarly here you will see there is a transition because of input input goes from 1 to 0 output goes from 0 to 1 so target the 50% of input 50% of output whatever the difference between them will be give you tplh low to high output is going from low to high output goes from low to high tplh okay that this is the value you will have uh, for propagation delay low to high it means your output is taking this much tplh time to transition from zero to high and here you will say your output is taking tphl time from transitioning from one to zero and when you will take the average of these two values you will get the average propagation delay that will be taken by your gate for a particular input okay that's the property of propagate uh, of a uh, 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 logic family and um, this is one of the characteristics we'll be looking at for all uh, logic families the lesser propagation delay is better lesser power dissipation is better a fan in depends upon the application fan out is uh, more the better right uh, and fan in also more is better but it depends upon the application okay so now let's move on to the next uh, 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 characteristic that is figure of married that is just a basically a product of propagation delay and power dissipation so let's see that now the next parameter is called figure of merit f o m sometimes it is also called and sometimes it is also called speed power product this is the product of propagation delay this is this guy and power dissipation the other two characteristics we have seen before the product of these two will give you figure of merit figure of merit is lesser is better okay because power dissipation also you want less uh, uh, sorry power dissipation also you want less and uh, propagation delay also you want less right uh, the units uh, so that's why fom is also lesser is better the units uh, power dissipation will be usually in milliwatts uh, tpd that is propagation delay will be usually in uh, nanoseconds so if you do the product of it you will get usually picojoules this value will be in picojoules so power into time is energy energy is unit is joule right so nano into milli will give you 10 to the power minus 12 that is picojoule right the lesser is better sometimes it is also called as speed power product speed into power right so uh, propagation delay means related to time time relates to speed right so that's why it is speed power product but mind you one thing uh, power dissipation is inversely proportional to um, the propagation delay means if you want a high sir speed circuit or high speed gate uh, you you will need to have low tpd right low propagation delay will result in high speed if you have low propagation delay that that will lead to high power dissipation so they are inversely proportional so you have to balance out somewhere if you want high speed circuit or high speed gate you need to sacrifice in power dissipation you have to spend more power uh, the circuit will take more power and if you want uh, low power dissipation then your circuit will be slower so that's the trade-off you have to make uh, and you have to also keep in mind that the lesser fom is better so depends upon how much uh, means like depends upon the the application and uh, requirement okay so this is also one of the parameters of uh, logic families that we'll be looking at and now the remaining is i think current uh, uh, voltage parameters and and uh, noise margin that is also very important and operating temperature is just a temperature range within, within which it works so the ic will work so let's uh, uh, complete the other uh, uh, parameters as well